The Theatre Deluxe was acquired by Oscar Deutsch on October the 11th, 1937, and was to have been demolished to make room for the new Odeon. The Theatre Deluxe, which was at first an adaption of the Goddard's assembly rooms, opened in 1909 and was reconstructed and enlarged in 1922. The main entrance was an imposing portico, flanked by two columns, and above the entrance was a very pleasant cafe. The stall's foyer was very narrow, and this gave an entirely false impression of the actual size of the cinema, which extended behind the adjacent properties. In 1922, it was by far the largest cinema in the city, with 1,062 seats. In 1934, a Wurlitzer organ was installed at a cost of £5,000, and this was a marvellous new asset to the cinema. The BBC's Midland region regularly broadcast recitals from the Theatre Deluxe, which was then something of an honour for the owners, West of England Cinemas Limited. Disaster struck in the early hours of Sunday, the 30th of January, 1939. Having been secured for the night, a fire broke out in the cinema and destroyed everything except the offices and ornate frontage. Plans for the new Odeon to replace the burnt-out Theatre Deluxe were halted by the outbreak of war. But in 1956, 17 years later, the rank organisation took over the plaza, which had 1,832 seats. In 1959, they renamed it and at last, Gloucester had an odium. The plaza opened on the 25th of November, 1935, and the frontage of the theatre remained basically unchanged throughout its life. A shallow flight of steps led to a battery of doors, through which was the entrance foyer. The plaza was owned by the Cardiff-based Elton Cinema Company, which later on became a rank organization's subsidiary. The opening feature was David O. Selznick's production of David Copperfield, starring Freddie Bartholomew. Live shows were occasionally held at the plaza with the aid of an apron stage in front of the 44-foot wide proscenium arch. The theatre had two dressing rooms. The plaza had a very plain and undistinguished auditorium. There seemed to be no decorative lighting and the walls were devoid of any plaster decorations. Also, the circle seemed a very long way from the screen. And however good the film, it was difficult to get lost within the picture. One suspects that the plaza is an example of a very cheaply built and poorly equipped theatre. The plaza, later Odeon, closed on the 30th of August 1975 for conversion into bingo.